All right, let's work through the client linting error. So client linting is a way to reduce errors, improve the quality of our code base and enforce some common rules. Our rules that we use in Galaxy are defined by ESLinter and on GitHub that command that runs is ESLint. This is what starts the process for linting code on the client side. There's a note here that we do have a Python linter as well, which you may run into problems with in the future when you contribute to Galaxy, but we're not going to run through through any exercises using that today. Just know that the way to diagnose and treat these is very similar to the way that you do it for the front end. So the first thing, this one is going to be a little bit different than the other few because one of the failing test workflows on GitHub would be this get code and test, and then you would see that it's the JS lint. But because of the way that we have the uh, branch set up, because of the multiple bugs, some of the test failures overlap and the get code and test workflow has been skipped in the last commit. So in order to see what that looks like, we're just going to be using this commit. So let's pretend everything. I'm going to just open that in a new tab. Um, so pretend we clicked on the little X, the little commit message, and here we are. So we see here this JS lint, and that's what we're going to click on. We're going to look at that. And when we scroll down, we see that this is the command that ran. They cd into the client and ran yarn run eslint. And at the bottom here, we see that there's one error. So we can scroll back up through all these warnings and find the error. Okay, it says view is defined but never used, and it's located in a view component called rule component. So now. Let's go back to the tutorial. We know where the problem is. We want to verify that locally. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the terminal. I'm just going to verify that I'm on the train branch. Good. Um, and then I'm going to activate my virtual environment. So If we go look at the tutorial again, we can just grab that. You can click copy here and it'll automatically load it and paste it. And you'll see at the front here, it now says that I'm in my virtual environment. So we know that that is true. Then according to the tutorial, we've got some options. <clears throat> you can either run the exact same command that CircleCI uses, which is to CD into the client and run yarn run eslint, or you can run make client lint, which does those same first two things and also runs prettier check. Something else that we use is prettier and that's a formatting thing. And so sometimes you'll run into like, oh, there's an extra space here or an extra line. And this will tell you that problem too. So I like to run make client lint and that's what I'm going to do, but you can feel free to do whatever you want there. So you'll see that we see into the client into the client and now we're doing some yarn stuff. And now we're running yarn run ES lint. And you'll see it's going to output all that same errors, all those warnings that we saw um, in client CI. And ta -da, we got 175 problems. And one of them is an error. <laughs> um, we can scroll up and we can see ah, view is defined but never used in the rule component. So next I'm going to open up uh, VS Code. I'm going to check control P and we're going to go to this rule component dot view. It was my most recent open one. We know that this is where the problem is and we know that the problem was it's an import and it's this import. And in fact, even just looking at the screen from here, you can see that the colors of this import are muted, which means that it's not being used. Ta-da. Um, you can run yarn eslint hyphen hyphen fix or yarn run prettier to, um, to do that. But what I'm going to do is just delete that line, save it, 
And now back in my command line, I'm going to rerun the linter and hopefully it that error will be gone now. Ta-da. And like I said, this is also going to be running prettier. So if you would have removed the import line but left an extra space there, you'd see a, a prettier would tell you that the formatting was off. But I removed both lines. Um, I removed the empty line that, that the import statement was on. So it's not going to have any problem. But it's checking all different files just to make sure that they, that they look pretty. Um, So yay, we did it, you fixed it. Uh, we're going to write a useful commit message. If you're not sure um, what to write, you can check out our contributors guide here. Um, and then our, our error is fixed. So we're gonna say uh, git status, git add, git commit dash M, uh, removed and unused import in rule component and there we go congratulations on fixing a client linting error